hey guys welcome to my channel this is priyanka kumar i hope you're all doing good uh it's been a very long time since i recorded a video because i was actually very busy traveling and also um somehow i did not get attracted to do the readings and so i decided to take a break and i'm back again uh with a reading today so today i feel like uh it's a very new year and i hope that you all are doing uh good and wish you a very very happy and a prosperous new year ahead uh so bringing this reading for i'm sure that with the new year coming in all of us are always curious of how the new year is going to be in terms of our health wealth our career part and especially our relationships how it is going to be right so today's reading is all about um how is 2024 going to be for you all right so we have three different piles here i've chosen uh, the yellow star the blue star and the green star so you can either look at the stars the color of the stars or the cards whichever may attract to you attracted to you i'm sorry <laughs> so there are these different patterns uh take a close look at each of the pattern and see which attracts you there are also the words called empathy grief and love see what attracts towards you and choose that pile and the description box has the time stamps and you can look at that all right um also i would like to uh, let you know that these are general readings this may or may not resonate with your situation at times don't force yourself to put into this and uh, hope that the result will be the same okay you will know when you pick a pile that this is your reading if it is not then please do not force yourself all right so let's just skip ahead to the reading so to begin the reading with we have the card called empathy and the yellow color star it says i am open to seeing both sides of a situation this uh, is extremely important um and uh, people who've gone through many situations will actually understand what empathy means um your beginning of the reading itself the card says i am open to seeing both sides of a situation which means that uh, it is a reminder to you that you need to always understand a situation uh from both the sides because sometimes we tend to look at the situation just from one side and we judge people we do not understand what the other person is going through right and you truly do not understand others intentions their um expectations or whatever that may be because you haven't lived through their eyes right it's very very easy to judge another person through their behavior but it's very important to not label them as right or wrong because only when you have empathy is when you can understand the situation from both the sides and see the situation for just as it is and not label them right um it's it's everybody else's personal path it's their own journey of life and everybody has a play of divine in their life isn't it so who are we to judge them and say that you are right and you're wrong probably if you were in their path you would do the exact same thing isn't it so here in the physical dimension uh we need to understand that everybody has their own free will and some of us have uh different ways of looking at life so before we judge anybody else look at it with compassion look at it with love and your job is only to understand them not to judge them right so this is the highlight of your year so always remember to keep empathy as your highest most priority since that is the card that you have chosen okay so first we'll look at relationships and then we'll look at career and finances and then we'll look at your health aspect okay so for pile number 1 yellow star how is the year 2024 going to be in terms of their relationship how is this year going to be in terms of relationship this is in general relationships with everybody around you all kinds of people okay how is it going to be when it comes to your relationships okay 
So when it comes to your relationships, I see that there could be a new opportunity for you to grow. If you are still single and if you're expecting or waiting for a proposal, that can possibly happen. And I see that your year is going to be more about focusing on relationships. Do not make fast judgments. And I see that you will also be progressing into a mature person. In the initial beginning of the year, I see that you may be expecting a proposal to happen and that will eventually happen. You may fall in love, you may find your true partner and I see that you will be able to take in charge of your life completely. This year in terms of relationship is going to give you the sense of understanding of who you are as a person and you will be able to uh, embrace the feminine side of you a lot more deeper feminine side of you can include you becoming a mother or a parent if you are a male watching this reading then you know it means that you will embrace your uh, embrace the uh, feminine figures in your life okay it could be your sister it could be your mother it could be your partner whoever that may be okay or, or if you're not seeking for anything as such you may embrace the divine feminine which is the um, the female goddesses or the female energies and entities in your life okay i see that you will be uh, very stable when it comes to your emotions you will you will have a control over it and you will have uh, a lot of abundance when it comes to giving out love okay i see that in terms of love uh, in terms of relationship this year can play a major role for you and you will have the uh, courage and the ability to make your own decisions and you will be able to stick by it very much okay and uh, as we have the empathy card here and the strength here together i see that you will be more compassionate towards other people you will be more nurturing and again with the empress card here i see that you will be more caring and you will also have the childlike nature in you which will help you uh, in understanding your relationships much better you will have the explosion of energy explosion of creativity and you will have um uh, you will have the skill to take everything as um like how a child would look at it and you will be able to deal with situations in your relationships much more better i would like to put it across in a better word by saying that you will be more in your youthful energy okay uh, there is a very good combination of the youth and the matured person here so i see that you will be able to balance it out very well okay and whatever is that that you dream of you will be able to ignite that in your relationship and you will be able to keep up the passion alive in all your relationships across and uh, i also see that with um, you know with your other, with your relationships around you you will be more joyful you will be more romantic uh, and i also see that you will be uh, very excited when it comes to relationships okay i see that by nature you are a kind of person who's very excited and there is a good spark that you will always keep it up alive irrespective of what your partner is okay and i see that you will have a lot of upcoming uh, i see very positive uh, results uh, or positive outcome in your relationships and you will be able to handle it in a very wonderful way okay um even with the page of cups and the eight of wands i see that a lot of positive energies around your relationships so <clears throat> that is what uh, i see is going to be 2024 in terms of relationships for you in general okay now let's take a look at how is your career and finances going to be your career and your finances path for yellow star let's see how is your career and your finances going to be for the yellow star Career and finances, we will take this card. Wow, we have the wheel of fortune, the sun, amazing, five of cups, five of pentacles, and the nine of swords. Okay, uh, so there is a little bit of ups and downs, there, but there's nothing to be disheartened. I see that in the beginning of the year, you will be able to accomplish a lot of your career goals. You will be able to start very fresh and there is a good sense of energy 
and I see that uh, you will get a, a good position I can say okay but when it comes to uh, your finances you must be very careful because there is a slight changes and there there can be uh, a little bit of a lows in your finances first advice is do not lend money to anybody uh, and take in charge of your finances and do not overspend your money because uh, you may not receive it on time if you lend it to any, anybody else and you may end up regretting it a lot okay your career path seems uh, good and you're in your career path i see that this is the time when things are changing for you and if there is a job change there's a change in your position or whatever that may be that is going to bring in a lot of good luck for you and that good luck involves your your own effort and hard work it is not that it is just happening out of um uh, out of uh, I'm, I'm not saying it's not your luck of course it's your luck it's your fate and it's your destiny but i see that for whatever that you have worked hard and you may not be rewarded in the past this is the time of the year when your rewards are coming to fruitful and i see that there can be unexpected uh, gains that you will get especially in terms uh, of your career path not in terms of your uh, uh, finances but the, the energies are getting transformed in a way that it will elevate you and put you to a better position i see that with the sun card here you will be able to uh, reach higher positions higher goals and whatever that is that you desire will be yours okay and i see that you will be able to work with utmost passion uh, you will be blessed with abundance and abundance in terms of um, you know being fulfilled and i see that it is a very big yes card so if you are looking for some kind of a, a career growth or something to do with uh, your uh, uh, career path some some changes that you may be expecting this is a very big yes and that may be uh, happening for you in this year okay do not be disheartened by this card this is only an advice for you that uh, it is still a positive note because i see that this is if you are looking at the reading until this point of time uh, you should know that there is still a lot of hope there is still a lot of um uh, there is still a lot of uh, things that is left okay there is uh, uh, the cups are still there but you are don't sit and cry over things that you've lost okay and I see that you tend to get a little more uh, over concerned about your emotions in terms of your career path I see that the career path is your heart at most um, um, the highest possible um, uh, priority in your life so that is why you tend to get very attached to it and uh, you if you put put out 10 goals for your 2024 in terms of your career I see that you will be able to achieve at least eight and but you will tend to look at the other two which did not happen and cry over it so don't do that mistake okay and I see that uh, whatever goals that you set for yourself there needs to be action action could be missing and you may just tend to uh, you know think of it dream of it or emotionally get attached to it but it's important that you you also make effort you also have that passion to uh, work towards it okay when we see, when we want to eat an apple we have to go get it right do not expect to just sit there and wait uh, for the apple to magically drop in isn't it so it's important here that you understand that you need to also work hard for it and sometimes even after you work hard for it things may not work in your favor but as i told you you will be able to achieve eight out of ten which is still excellent so do not worry about it and with finances please be careful do not overspend at all and do not especially do not lend money to anybody else you may not receive it back at all you may end up getting into debts and loans all right so let's take a look at how is your health going to be this year how is your health going to be this year for pile number one the yellow color star how is your health going to be this year we have the hermit the ten of cups the page of wands the sun excellent and the strength we have some of the cards repeating here which is a wonderful sign I see that your health is going to be absolutely perfect. There's nothing to worry about it. You may uh, have to spend some time alone, which is for your own good, because I see that um, uh, spending time alone will help you understand and introspect what is that that you are seeking for. 
and I see that you will uh, spending time with the family will help you in maintaining your emotional stability as I told you that you get you tend to get too attached to your career path and your goals which may not give you a good result and when you keep thinking constantly with your um, uh, you, you are giving a lot of exercise to your mental health so your physical health may also tend to get a little um, ups and downs isn't it so it's important that you spend a lot of time with family especially if you have little kids around or if you take a vacation spend time in the nature and most importantly i would say spend time with animals that is going to help you uh, in a great way and also um, i would suggest you that uh, spend time in uh, soaking yourself in the sun you get a lot of energy from there and um, especially the early morning sun not the peak sun uh, hours uh, so that will also give you a good uh, balance to your emotional system your emotional system is something that you really need to work on because uh, you have a good control over yourself without a doubt okay you know how to handle it well and you do you're you are not the kind of person who likes to share it with other people and uh, you know who likes to let it out and things like that you are a person who likes to spend time alone and you you like to um, uh, you like to introspect yourself and see how you can make, make yourself a better person. So that is why I'm advising you that at times, uh, however, that's a wonderful way of doing things. But at times we may not be able to get all the answers or we may not be able to heal completely when we are spending time all by ourselves. So it's important that you spend some time with animals and spend some time with the family people and that will help you understand yourself better. But your strength lies in dealing with it all by yourself and finding out um, uh, your answers through introspection all right so i hope that's the gist of how your 2024 is going to be overall um it's going to be a great year for you uh, and um do not worry about anything and always remember the universe has your back and it's always working to make things happen for you and not against you at all okay remember that at all times whatever that is happening in your life is what is what is that that you are seeking and your universe is just blessing you with it all right i hope this reading helps if so please do let me know in the comments i'd be more than happy to hear from you and i will see you again in the next reading take care and have a good day ahead bye bye welcome to pile number uh, two the blue color star for those who picked this card with this pattern it's called the grief i understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it okay so this is the highlight uh, for this year uh, the word called grief uh, so this is a reminder to you that probably you've lost some person or you have lost somebody and this year is all about embracing that person okay and uh, most often we do not realize what we have lost um, until uh, we lose it right the kind of um, uh, importance that it holds in our life or the kind of um, uh, how do you put across the values that is there from from a certain thing we don't understand and it is not that you have lost it completely because uh, this is everything is temporary in this world isn't it so losing something or someone is just an illusion uh, for us to understand that it is not over yet and it, it may be separated in terms of physical uh, dimension but it is just that um, a reminder for us to learn how to appreciate when we still have it okay and it is that um, the separation will teach you the lesson uh, that is needed for you and for the other person if it is in terms of your person okay or if it is in terms of something that you have lost uh, so it is just that temporary phase to make you understand the values of it so here you need to understand that and acknowledge the lessons that you've learned from it and uh, it's not that you're being abandoned by it okay and always when something is taken away from you it is for the higher purpose and something much more meaningful will definitely come across to you so you have to learn how to accept it and um, only when you accept it with willingness that yes this can also happen is when you will understand how to move away from it also and um, 
also there is a sense of feeling that it could be something to do with the loss of a person and um, a, probably a death or something of that sort could have happened in your circle uh, so this is a reminder to you to understand that the soul journey has to move on and the soul probably finished its karmic debt in this world so it had to leave uh, to keep moving forward ahead right so that is the higher purpose that we will have to look at and look at it from the soul purpose angle and then you will be able to accept it in a much more broader sense all right so now we'll take a look at the tarot cards for how is the year 2024 going to be for you in terms of relationships in general all kinds of relationships let's take a look at how is your relationship aspect going to be in the year 2024 how is your relationships going to be we have the knight of pentacles the ten of cups lovely the seven of cups the seven chariot and the wheel of fortune okay okay so the how the year looks like for you is that it is going to be an emotionally very satisfying one a fulfilling one perhaps um and i see that your relationships will have a little bit of an ups and downs uh, by the end of the year not in the beginning of the year it seems to be quite stable whatever relationships that you are dealing with at this point of time your relationship will be very very stable and um i also see that um it it will have a sense of maturity and it will have a sense of commitment that you are looking forward to uh, probably if you are seeking something out of any of the relationship and if you are seeking that uh, maybe is this going to happen or not i would say that yes it will happen it will move into a more much more uh, commitment and i see that your relationships will have uh, a lot of hard work hard work in terms of efforts i'm saying okay uh, hard work probably in terms of efforts and you will be more determined to make some things happen in your relationship say perhaps if you are in a romantic relationship and if you are making uh, efforts to uh, work uh, work this out towards a better commitment yes this year you can expect it especially in the first few months itself you can expect that to happen and your relationships will be very secure and stable you don't have to um, worry about if this is going to last or not because it's rock solid foundation here i see and the efforts and the path that you have taken uh, along this journey is going to be extremely fruitful for you not just in terms of stability or anything but also in terms of uh, uh, you know having the uh, emotional understanding the uh, emotional balance and the harmony between everybody amongst you and your family will be amazingly wonderfully well i also see that uh, sometimes you may have a tendency to move back and forth in the relationship because um, see of course every relationship has its own ups and downs without a doubt but sometimes you know we tend to think that is this something that this is what i chose for myself or uh, is this something really worth fighting for uh, why did i have to do all of this it's very very natural trust me it's very natural because i also go through the same thing and as humans you know sometimes when we go through our lows we tend to question ourselves we tend to think for ourselves oh uh, was this necessary for me did i have to really go through all of this right so i see that you also tend to sometimes think that way and uh, when there are ups and downs you tend to think if this is really worth it and if this is something that i have to make a choice for myself okay and uh, that is quite natural but i see that no matter whatever that it is that you have started it will have a wonderful um journey uh, the journey may be difficult but the end result and uh, for it is worth what you are actually fighting for okay there will be oneness there will be harmony in your relationships and these doubts may just prevail all right and um uh, i see that uh, whatever relationships that you attract this particular year is going to have a completion the cycle of completion probably in the past um, you may uh, not have that uh, completion or you may feel um, you may feel like some things are coming to an end without you knowing about it 
or uh, you know perhaps it did not have a certain sense of clarity at all but this year your relationships will have that completeness uh, the sense of a uh, feeling of oneness and feeling like whatever that you started will have a particular uh, journey and will have a particular end to it as well you know whatever the ups and downs may be there but still you will be able to balance it out and um you will have a complete cycle of it all right um that's about your relationships uh now let's look at how your career and your finances is going to be for this year okay also in terms of your relationships if you are looking forward to get married uh that is also a possibility as i said committed relationship that can mean uh, either a committed relationship or a marriage as well okay let's take a look at your career and finances okay we have seven of cups the cherry hit okay the nine of wands and the four of swords and the hanged man uh what i notice majorly is that the 7 of cups and the uh, the chariot being repeated and it's the card of 7 and again 7 7 there are too many sevens in your reading which shows that you may be inclined towards spirituality is number 1 and the other thing is that uh, you are a person who is confused about making any decisions and choices in your life you may not be able to make clear cut decisions because of self doubt because of feeling unworthy at times and you will be close to getting what you are what you are seeking for but suddenly you tend to lose patience you tend to think about the negative patterns and you tend to overthink about what happened in the past and how whatever that you wanted did not work out so uh, which is why again i see that you will be attracted more towards uh self doubt and uh, rather than having confidence confidence is something that is lacking very much in your reading so i would suggest you to build some confidence in yourself start with something small and when you achieve that you will get a sense of confidence and that will help you uh go a long way okay and uh with your career and your finances i see that finances uh, uh may be a little low okay uh, i'm not trying to scare you here but uh you will be if you are working or if you are in a job uh i would suggest you to stick to that particular job and work hard towards it rather than looking for new opportunities i don't see any new opportunities coming up in your way and um i see that um there will be multiple uh multiple attractions that you may have and that may disturb your career life okay which is why you also lack stability and you will not be able to focus on one thing at a time you may be more involved in relationships or you may be more attracted to spend more money than you already have and uh, you know you may be you may fall into other traps very easily because of which your career but may get a little deviated okay and i also see that in your career path uh, uh don't get confused again uh, that is as i said that is the highlight of something uh as i told you that you have lost something in your life which is why grief is very dominant in your reading and whatever that you have lost is for the higher purpose so please accept it and move on unless you move on and you're emotionally stable you will not be able to function well even in terms of your career path okay so your career path also seems a little okay uh, but i would uh, definitely uh, suggest you to work a little more upon that and uh, you know you are overthinking about everything basically you tend to overthink you tend to uh, think of what is not there what you cannot see in front of your eyes it's it could be either past or it could either be future you just tend to keep thinking about it rather than focusing on what you have in hand it's important to embrace what you have in your hand um, and focus on that aspect more than what you don't have so your career path is just okay okay uh, but um yeah if you work upon it definitely yes you can change that uh, definitely if you let go of the fears and the confusions that you have if you are seeking for clarity definitely that can make a better difference in your life all right uh, so now let's take a look at how is your health for this year 
how is your health aspect going to be for this year there is four of cups there is page of cups a lot of cups in your reading there is six of pentacles the six of cups and the king of cups okay emotionally uh, all you are seeking for is emotional stability and emotional satisfaction so which makes me uh, sure that you have lost something which was very close to your heart and your emotional stability is at stake at this point of time so uh, it is uh, it is best if you can uh, meditate actually which will bring that emotional stability in you your physical health seems absolutely fine spend a lot of time in the nature spend time with water greenery trees and especially nature okay and if you if you really feel like you want to spend money spend that money on doing charity or help somebody in need that will actually bring in more abundance to you and that will give you a lot of um uh, st uh, stability and security that you are actually seeking for okay spend time with kids spend time in the nature uh, spend time with um uh, spend time <clears throat> doing social work if you if that interests you okay uh, your physical health seems fine it is just that mental health is at stake because of the loss that you've had and once you recover that i see that you will be able to uh, be more uh, be more stable and attract what you truly desire okay overall uh, to sum up this reading i see that relationships plays a major role for you this year more than your career and your health uh, because your relationships is what uh, will heal you and as i said yes this year uh, there is a chance of getting committed which means that that will bring in a lot of stability to you uh, and i see that that's the most important thing that you are seeking at this point of time that will happen and that will bring in more flying colors to you and uh, that will help you heal everything that you are going through at this point of time okay so overall a balanced year if you want to make it a great year then you'll have to work upon a little more and stop overthinking about everything all right i hope this helps that's all i have for you in this reading today and i will see you again in the next uh, reading take care and have a good day bye bye Welcome to pile number 3, the card of love, the green color star. Let's take a look at what is that for you. I come into the practice of seeing the good in all things. Okay, so love is the highlight for you for this year. Uh, love necessarily does not mean that it has to be a romantic love. Uh, love is something that is pure, that is from the heart. And also we have the green color star, which is the color of the heart chakra. The anahata and here this um, as a significance in your reading i would uh, see this as something that has to be the highlight for you for this year which means that uh, you must take a look at everything in terms of love um, maybe that is something that you like some person that you like that you don't like uh, no matter what it is try to see it from the perspective of love and you will only see the good things in everything okay this is the vibration uh, that you have to emit this year because there may be obstacles, there may be challenges and uh, there may be uh, various other dimensions that you may not be able to understand. But the only way of looking at things in a beautiful sense is through the eyes of love. This is a reminder to you that there is the divine love. There is the purest. This is the purest vibration that you can be at and you need to bring uh, awareness in your situation in terms of love in every single aspect of your life and make this as your healing energy and uh, this cannot uh, exist um, you know uh, you cannot exist without love isn't it so this is the aura that you have to bring forth in you so that you will be able to see everything and anything in the dimensions of love and um, most importantly uh, accepting everything 
um you know as i said that some sometimes not sometimes many times we may not like the situations or we may not uh, be habituated to like a particular thing or a particular situation or a person right but when you vibrate in the energy of love you will naturally tend to accept you don't have to love them but you can just accept them in the aura of love right uh because that is the strength and that is the energy and that is the vibration of the divine of the universe okay so it, this is something that you have to enforce upon yourself uh in this particular year all right uh let's take a look at the tarot cards now so how does your relationship look like in the year 2024 how does your relationship look like in the year 2024 relationship aspect for the green color star we have the hierophant the four of wands the ten of swords the four of cups okay there is the temperance i will take that as well okay so the hierophant four of wands you can expect a celebration you can expect um i will keep the temperance aside okay okay so how is the year 2024 for you in terms of relationship i see that this year will be filled with celebrations for you um in the first half of the year okay celebrations you can expect committed relationships you can expect celebrations in the family um e even if you you are if you are already married and then you're looking forward for some some other kind of celebration that is a possibility i see that uh, you will be able to um be in harmony with your family especially with your culture with your traditions your religion you know there is a there is a natural spiritual side that is coming up for you in terms of your relationships okay although the mid-year onwards okay post the mid-year onwards there can be certain uh, ups and downs in your relationships and but there is nothing to lose hope about it because it puts you in a different direction that direction will bring a lot of light to you okay uh, the initial year is celebrations and then the rest of the year uh, with a little bit ups and downs and again the end of the year turning out to be extremely beautiful for you so to go a little more in depth of the reading i see that uh, this the beginning of the year can be the major turn of events for you as i said in terms of new spiritual awakening can happen uh, in your relationships you may learn a lot of new lessons and you may also meet across uh, spiritual leaders or masters who will impart some sort of knowledge with you so that the the guru relationship in your life will improve okay and i see that uh, you will be able to um whatever that is you are seeking uh will will come to fruitful in terms of spirituality in terms of relationship for you in the beginning of this year probably uh probably you have been seeking for a lot of answers from the divine and that has not happened yet for you and uh, you may be in that confusion or, or stuck in a particular pattern of your life okay so i see that there will be that emotional stability that will bring across this leader sort of a personality in your life or guru sort of a personality who will impart some kind of knowledge and who will impart some kind of uh, shed light across in in the answers that you are seeking for okay and um, i see that with the celebration card here uh, there is a lot that you can expect from your family uh, the family celebrations can happen if you are still single you can expect to get married uh, there can be um, immense joy that will come come forth in your relationships and if, if not for marriage then definitely some sort of celebration in your family is bound to happen okay and the mid of the year as i said it can be a little stressful because 
I see that the excitement is uh, slightly lost and you are again lost in seeking for some answers or seeking for something and it can be that uh, some something can be a uh, kind of uh, painful or uh, you know you are seeking for healing again so your relationship aspect is something major for you this year which uh, which brings in that energy of spiritual awakening enlightenment and uh, ups and downs because of which you will realize many many things okay you try to find hope in your relationships you try to find the heal in healing in your relationship there is a lot of truths that happens in every relationship isn't it you tend to realize that um you know i i am just another soul here there's nothing more beyond that so yeah that could be the possibility and i see that in every aspect of your life the universe will still offer you wonderful things the universe will still be by your side uh you know uh, uh, blessing you with abundance blessing you with opportunities and um you know you uh, there is a tendency to not uh, be grateful for what you already have and there's a tendency to keep seeking for something more and this happens for every spiritual seeker that you are kind of grateful for what you have but you know you're always seeking for something more than the spiritual aspect something something more than material something more than relationships so i see that can be uh, uh, that can be a interesting turn of events for you in this particular year okay again with the star card here i see that whatever that you are wishing for will come true you are uh, you will be on the right track this year but i see that um, there is some sort of uh, uh, some sort of a trauma or some something that you are holding on to and again here with the uh, love card here which is the highlight of this year seeing only the good things in everything will actually help you through get through it okay because as i mentioned that is the divine healing energy that is the divine uh, power of uh, uh, power that everybody holds so it's important that you look at it in terms of uh, love so that you will be able to heal yourself in a much better way so you, overall your relationships will actually uh, help you in becoming more spiritually inclined this year okay let's take a look at how is your career and your finances for this year how is your career and your finances how is your career and your finances okay six of wands five of swords queen of cups king of cups and again four of cups okay four of cups being repeated you will be blessed with new opportunities this year okay in terms of finances i see that it is quite stable but uh, do not lend money to other people your career opportunities are also very good and your king of cups and queen king of king and the queen of cups together in your career reading if you are still single and seeking for a partner i see that you will find your partner through your career path or in your job space your workspace whatever that may be and uh, if you are already married i see that working together with your partner or your spouse will bring you a lot of career stability and bring you abundance you can expect name and fame this year uh, you can expect new opportunities this year and again with the six of wands here you will definitely definitely have success success in everything okay you may not get enough money for whatever that you are working hard for but definitely the name and fame will go high okay uh, you will achieve your dream position you will achieve your dream goal this year and ultimately the riches will come to you all by itself although it is not very evident uh, it will happen eventually okay and i uh, another advice is that do not uh, do not indulge yourself or do not discuss your your career goals and paths with too many people around you and they may not be very uh, welcoming or they may not accept the way that you your your ways are so i would suggest you to try to be um uh, try to uh, um you know uh, how do i say this uh, don't don't work with too many people you know uh, of course it's important to socialize and work with a lot of uh, uh, community uh, to learn many things but don't disclose your ideas and too much and do not um uh, do not get into deep levels of discussions with your colleagues or with anybody around you 
you know they may backstab you and they may grab a lot of information from you which may turn against you as well so i would suggest you to st just keep um a little uh check on that and um career wise it is a great year okay uh, there's nothing much to worry about that at all let's take a look at um the health aspect how is your health going to be this year how is the health aspect for you okay this is not the card <laughs> we have the eight of cups eight of swords the high priestess Four of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, and the Knight of Wands. Okay, you may tend to worry a little about money. Okay, and um, physically, health-wise, is um, I would suggest take care of it. There's nothing major, but uh, as I told you, this is this year brings in a lot of spiritual abundance to you. You will go through mental illness okay not physical illness but mental illness and you may tend to get stuck in situations uh, all by yourself not because of other people but only because of yourself you may tend to get stuck and uh, uh, there is a need for you to uh, release out that energy and rather than holding on to it you have a tendency to hold on to something and keep thinking a lot about it okay uh, let that go when universe is blessing you with something just focus only on that and not on what you don't have okay and uh, as i mentioned earlier stay away from people um it's best that you spend a lot of time all by yourself this year uh, that will help you understand who you truly are and what is your potential and what you can do uh, get into some kind of uh, physical activities if you're not doing anything that will help you a lot and your health wise um, you definitely have to take care of you may be oblivious to certain situations and you may not be uh, focusing too much on taking care of your health but when you tend to overthink and overanalyze situations your mental health gets disturbed which may result in laziness and which may result in um, your uh, disturbance in the physical health as well so it's important and necessary that you take care of it you also have a lot of mood swings at times uh, you need to take care of that meditate as much as possible uh, at least any kind of mantra chanting that will help you and that will keep you more balanced okay and uh, use a lot of yellow color in your bedroom or uh, you know wear a lot of yellow color clothes uh, that will help you bring a lot of happiness and abundance okay your career path seems great that is the highlight of this year and spirituality is the highlight of this year all right i hope uh, this reading helps and thank you so much for hearing me out today and i will see you again in the next reading take care and have a good day Bye bye